It's Handy Val. In this video, I'll be doing a few things on my R129, all related to the seat. I'll try to fix this problem here that many R129 owners share. And to do it, I'll need to remove the seat cushion, the seat back, as well as the back panels. It will also give me an opportunity to lubricate the seat tracks and also give me a chance to clean the leather in places that you can't really get to under normal circumstances, as well as it'll give me an opportunity to kind of clean up perhaps 30 years of junk that's probably accumulated underneath the seat. So let's get to it. What you're going to want to do as well is maybe push the seat uh, a little bit further to the front and then in the back because we're going to need to go back here and it's a little bit of a tight access. Now we may need to go back to the battery, turn it on and, and move, move the seats. All right, but the first step here is there's going to be two Phillips heads uh, that are going to be ones in this direction, ones in that direction. If you stick your head in there, uh, it's going to be quite obvious. So I'll, I'll remove them now. These are the two screws. So next is to remove the seat cushion. So now that we've got the two bolts out, it's quite out. All you need to do is kind of just push up. It's kind of clamped in. All right, as simple as that. All right, so I've got heated seats. There's a, there's a cable here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of rest it here. The objective here isn't so much the seat the bottom seat, so we just need to have a little bit. Yours may not have heated seats and the whole thing may just may just come out, so you're just gonna wanna rest it. So now let's move on to take out the back cushion, the back leather cushion. So we're gonna push this forward. Now, under here, there are three Torx 25. You're gonna wanna unscrew those. Two closer ones, they're a little bit smaller, and then the one on the further end. I mean, it looked like mine was a little bit stripped, but you know the T, uh, the T25 Torx still worked gently enough. Okay, back seat cushion. All we need to do is kind of just push it, push it down, Keep pushing it down. And it should just kind of pop out. Um, and this one as well does have. Uh, heated seats, so we're going to kind of just leave this be just as that. I mean, we certainly just disconnect this as well, but I am not going to bother with that. We're going to leave that for now uh, just the way it is. All right, so you're going to want to remove this plastic molding here. Yeah, you can kind of see. It's a, it's a T15. Okay, there's another one right here. I'm going to try with the T15. This whole piece should just slide off. Now you're going to want to remember the location of these screws in case they're different. Next up, there's a Phillips screw over here. You're going to need to pull this one out. And what you're going to need to do with this back cover, it's going to feel like it's kind of glued on. Not quite. You're going to want to just wiggle it free. Wiggle it free. What you need to do is you're going to kind of need to wiggle this off. You know, it's, it's just kind of being held in. Uh, with a little bit of pressure and that kind of still leaves struggling a little bit to remove that piece out but you know one thing's for certain I don't need to take it out for what we're trying to do and we're going to focus now on removing this piece now this car I've got actually has it looks like there's two these are T20s two T20 torques there's one there and there's one on the bottom underneath this so you're going to a little bit of a tight fit, but you could certainly get to it. Okay, so let's remove these. Other torques, not this one, but there's one in there that I kind of miss that I'll need to take out. Okay, you'll see it on your own car. Hopefully you can see it in there. And there's also this one right here. More torques. Keep finding more of these, so I'll take pull this one out. Now with the four pieces out, so just recall, right? One here, one here, kind of holding this latch together, and there's three on the inside. This whole piece, just kind of kind of lift it, 
and it just comes out and we could see the culprit so have a look here that's the culprit here that what we're going to try to do here is use some glue to kind of just glue that together what i did here as well i removed this another torx uh, this one obviously is broken off and there's another torx over on this side just so you could kind of see the mechanism here those of you who are who are interested coming from this side just to see the mechanism now, what i'm going to be using here is this uh, two-piece jb weld works on a number of surfaces does form a you, you don't want a soft bond, you want a hard bond, and certainly does work on plastic and PVC. I'm not sure what type of, certainly this is a plastic, but this is a PVC, uncertain, but this will certainly work. And once it does form that bond, it'll form a pretty uh, strong bond. All right, so given all this dust here, I'm going to use, just going to use a vacuum here to clean it up before I use some kind of like rag with some dish soap. What I'm going to do here is, um, I'm going to, I'm going to, Instead of removing this, it seems like it's pretty much broken. I'm going to put the epoxy glue on this side and that side and then kind of let it be, kind of push it together and let it be for, you know, for the 24 hours or however long the glue actually says it needs to be uh, held together for. It says it cures in 15 to 24 hours. So let's... Uh, I think that's the best strategy to go. It obviously depends on where yours is broken. You may want to take it out, but I'm afraid if I take this one out, it'd be more of an issue. So we're just going to kind of push this one in there uh, and get this. So I'm going to sand this up a little bit. Make the surface just a little bit rugged. Move it in there as well uh, before we put the, the glue in there. Okay, so with the final step there, once you feel good, about it, you're just going to want to remove any dust. The instructions for this one in particular, what they say is, you know, equal dabs of the white with equal dabs of the black, and you're supposed to mix it. Now again, this is just going to, depending on, you know, use the glue of your choice, kind of roughly supposed to be equal. Equal, and what you're going to want to do is just mix them up until you get a consistent pace. Maybe before you start getting this thing ready, obviously it's going to be better with pressure. So if you actually have a big clamp, that would actually work out best. Now I sort of seem to have misplaced my clamp, so I'm going to try, <laughs> I'm going to try something like this to try to keep it in place. So now with the epoxy, you're going to, you're just going to want to I mean, you might as well be liberal on it, I think. You know, it's already kind of damaged. Um, so, be liberal. Now, you don't want, obviously, anything to uh, to fall down. Okay, it looks like I have enough. Now, the other thing you're going to want to be careful about is this piece over here. just want to make sure that, you know, it's, it's nestled in properly with the seat. If you can see, there's a little bit of a crevice, and that has to go inside this leather piece or this actual plastic piece okay and now you're going to start to get the thing ready okay and you want to make sure everything gets lined up properly you know okay and get my, my string Still happening. I think it makes sense right now to actually use the remain, you know, get the remaining two Torx bits and tighten this piece together. Okay, if you recall, there's one Torx bit over here. Okay, and you're going to want to get this piece in there as well. You don't have to use a lot of force here. Remember, these are all plastic pieces here, so. As soon as it starts to get just a little bit tight, you kind of just want to, you kind of just want to stop. Okay, now we're back to the top, and you can kind of see that this piece, you want to make sure it's as tight as possible. As well, go around it as well. Go around that as well. You don't want to come back to this. 
as you're doing this, you're going to want to have a look. Even from the side angle, make sure nothing is, is off. Okay, make sure it's kind of goes the way it should be going. It looks like it's tight. Things, my, my mechanism here certainly is working. But I, what I ended up doing is putting a lot more on, you know, as I was just resettling everything properly. Um, so better to side on a little bit more than a little bit less. So let's wait for 24 hours now. All right, folks, it's actually 48 hours later here. Let's have a quick look at what we're dealing with here, right? So it's actually pretty sturdy. So we're going to take this contraption out. I'm going to want to check it out here, actually, just to see, you know, before you start putting everything together. I mean, it's pretty, uh, yeah, it's pretty solid. It certainly isn't going anywhere. So at this point, I think we could start to put everything back together and maybe start cleaning up some of the le leather and, and clean up maybe some of the dust that could be back here. So what I've done here as well, you know, this uh, heated seat thing kind of clips in there. I kind of did remove it. Uh, and that kind of affords you just a little bit of space. You could put this piece up there. And maybe this gives you a little bit of sense of, of what's happening here. And I did use a little bit of a rag just to get rid of some of the dust. In terms of lubrication, there's not a lot that could be done here with this seat. I think there's a few spots here. What I'm going to do, a couple of spots there, I think I'm going to put some uh, lithium grease there. Maybe a little bit a little bit of lithium grease, grease on these parts, parts here. It's kind of a little bit metal on metal. Uh, Okay, so we got the lifting grease. Here's clearly one spot there. This is going to be safe for you to put it on. Um, you don't want to overdo it as well, right? Just that's probably enough there. There's a little bit of the metal parts here, kind of metal on metal. Maybe it needs a little bit there, but not too much. You don't want to go crazy here. Okay, now this one, I, I, I struggle to, to remove the, the heater wire holding this, or the heated seat wire holding this together. So what you're going to want to do is you sort of see the rod here. And there's one on this side, there's one on that side. You're going to want to kind of just pick at it like there's some... You want to get rid of some of that. That's probably there. Um, it's really going to be at the edges. I think maybe on down by this side here as well. Is maybe even worse, right? I don't know what that is. Um, so you're going to want to do that on both sides. Okay, and here I am. I'm just I'm just using some silicone lubricating grease. It's actually again it's food safe, so I don't mind getting this on my hands. Again, just very little, very very little of it. And what you're going to do is again you're going to get in there and you're just going to you're just going to get very just going to dab it on a few spots. That's all you're going to do. All right, so we're on the other side here, as you can sort of see. I mean, this side seems to be a little bit cleaner, but again, you're going to want to clean the edges off. You see the hair there? All right, so I, got, I kind of got a, an old toothbrush there, because I think there's some some stuff that's really kind of grimy in there. And I just want to just agitate it so I can pull it out. You try your best at this. Again, when else are you going to do this? So that's the stuff that could clog up make this not glide as easy. I'm going to do it in the back there as well. Actually, that looks pretty good. And then obviously with the vacuum, you're going to want to get in there. You can sort of see a little bit of that as well. You want to clean that up as well with a rag. So with the leather cleaner right now, you're going to want to get to some of those hard to reach spots. So here's kind of like the example of the edge of the back cushion that really doesn't really kind of more difficult to get to. And you're going to certainly want to layer on your leather cleaner, your leather moisturizer. You're going to want to get to all kinds of parts that you don't necessarily get. As you can sort of see here on the seat cover, on the seat, uh, sorry, the seat cushion here, there's some spots here that you're going to want to clean that up as well. Okay, so before you start putting everything back together, just make sure you haven't sort of messed anything up. And the last thing you want to do is, you know, realize that, oh, there's something wrong with the seat belt, and then you got to go back and, and make some adjustments. So right now, I mean, the main thing we just want to make sure is that, you know, the seat is going to go forward, back, 
up. That sort of seems to work. Okay, we're happy there. And now this piece. Seems to be making a little bit of a noise. Let's see, maybe we maybe need some grease. Silicone. Now, I think it was always making a little bit of a squeaking sound, but now that you kind of have it up, you can kind of you can do this any time, actually. You don't want to squeeze it in there. I did spray the whole thing. You remember the little squeaking sound it did, so I kind of put the silicone spray all around there. Um, let's, let's, let's hear it now. So it looks like everything everything here is working. Let's start putting everything back together now. Next up is this piece here. Okay. So I actually ended up yanking the back piece of the seat out. And the trick part here is just, it's got a little bit of a clip here. Um, so now putting it back on, you need to make sure you get that clip. And then this is kind of held together by tension. And then there's the couple of torque screws here that go at the bottom. Okay, so what I ended up doing, I, I had to loosen up the screws holding this thing back so I could slide this piece of the back into the hidden. So that's really the trick here. Uh, to put the back piece on, you gotta kinda gotta loose, you don't wanna put this piece completely tight first. You wanna be able to have a little bit of leeway so you can slide this back piece into it. Okay, and then once you've done that, and once you feel comfortable with the edge, then you go in and tighten up the torque screws on this side. So before you put the seat cushions on, that, that'll be the last piece. You're going to want to put this thing back into its place here. I'm going to the call. Kind of slides in there. All right, so now that you've got everything kind of put on, you've got the back cushion, you've got the back plastic on with the screw. You've got this back piece put on with three kind of Torx screws that I've got. Um, and then I think there's Torx screw kind of behind here. You got the clamp working on this side here as well. You put the plastic piece around here. It's now time to put the cushion. Now the cushion's got these two, these little rods over here have got to go in there. Now you're gonna wrestle with it a little bit. It's not as simple. It's not gonna be that easy, but you get the picture. All you gotta do is slide it in and you're done. I'm just going to want to kind of lift it up there once you do get it in there as much as possible. Make sure you've got it. Make sure both pieces are actually in there. And that's done. All right, so last that remains now is the seat bottom. Now there's two things you got to be aware of. There's, there's a rod over here, there's a rod over there, and you've got to get the rods into those holes there. Okay, and then once once that happens, then what you need to do, if you come down here, uh, there's a certain clip over here. Okay, so if you see these rods here, there's another rod over there. It's kind of got to get into that. It's got to clamp in there, and you kind of got to push hard. But your first step here is to get those two rods into those holes. All right, so I struggled to put the C cushion back. Uh, the seat bottom back and what you really had to do is kind of have the helper hold on to this as like it buys you a little bit of space underneath here to put the uh, to put the seat cushion in and then you push it down. This is your final step you're just going to want to put these two uh, screws back in. All right folks looks like mission accomplished we certainly have this piece in together there's no way you're going to be able to rip this thing apart anymore. Um, we've, we've lubricated it, we've certainly cleaned it up, 
I think that's a that's a job done. Well, thanks for watching, Handy Val. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as there's be posting many other Mercedes-Benz R129 videos in the near future. Thanks for now.